ODCHF, uh, that is the pair that we are going to analyze, analyze right now. And uh, by the time the video is ending, you'll know if, it, if we have a buy opportunity or a sell opportunity. So pay attention, make sure you watch until the end of the video. If you don't have Audi CHF on, or you have never traded Audi CHF, this is a golden opportunity to, for you to even see how uh, you analyze it and how you can place your first trade. So all the best and let's start. Let's get started. This is my number, guys. Avoid those people who are impersonating me on Telegram, TikTok, here on YouTube. If you want to either text me, use this number. If you want to buy my course, it's $1,000 for 10 profitable strategy. If you want one strategy, it's $100, okay? So let's get started in with the video. I was checking out the CHF and it's a bit confusing. So we don't know if this market wants to, it is retracing or it is a reversal. So this one, you see this, this part, I want to use that. You see this part, I we don't know is this a reversal or it is a retracement because this market, if I squeeze like this, uh, the market has been going on a sell. We had a very stiff selling. And anytime you have market going on a downtrend without a retracement, it can do a deep retracement. So for me, I feel like, is this market doing a retracement so that we continue to uh, to continue to sell or what is not and because we have news on cpi we have chf cpi news majority of you have asked me how do you trade the news how do you trade the news so if i go to the calendar you will find uh, you just come here and type forexfactory.com and then you enter that's where we get the news so today is on a monday we don't have highlighted uh with red Anytime you have the highlight with red, it means it's a major news. On Tuesday, September 3rd, we have the highlighted red, CHF, and that is 9.30 a.m. We have CPI, and at 5 p.m. we have ISM manufacturing PMI. So that is news. It is important because if it is highlighted with red, it means it is volatile, it is important, and majority of traders will be watching opportunities when those news are being released. So for me, I understand that CHF, having the, C the CPI, this means if we are trading a CHF, so it's Audi CHF. So that's what we are trading, Audi CHF. So Audi CHF, Audi, Audi is a base and CHF is a quote. So Tomorrow we have CHF news. So tomorrow at 9.30 Kenyan time, 9.30, we have CHF news. So uh, something can happen if CHF, if the news becomes stronger. So two things can happen. This news can take a turn. We can have strong, Strong news means um, uh, it is supporting the currency, supporting CHF. And the news can become weak, supporting. The news can become weak, means it's bad for the currency. So let's say those news, the CPI, the news becomes weak, which means it is it is the, the it is bad for the CHF. So if the news will be stronger and CHF, let's say whatever they will announce tomorrow, it is supporting CHF. What do you think will happen to the CHF? If a quote is stronger, the market does what? The market buys, ah, the market sells because it's a quote. So we will have a sell opportunity. If the news becomes stronger and CHF becomes stronger. On the other hand, if the news are weak and CHF is no longer, uh, it's weak. So the market out this CHF will eventually buy because when the quote is weaker, the market will buy. So we'll have a buy opportunity. 
Now, if we are predicting the news will be stronger, we have to have an evidence. Why do we think CHF will be stronger? If majority of you are predicting, ah, those CPI, they'll be weak for CHF. Why do you think it will be weak for CHF? I want you guys to comment down below. You know, if you comment down below, I will be able to understand why do you think CHF news will be weaker or CHF news will be stronger? And I have told you, it's either they become stronger or become weaker. And if we go to uh, here, you will be able to know uh, what had happened previously. So we can see August 2nd, we had news on CHF and they were actual July 4th, uh, they were weaker. So we, we are seeing that it can be a normal kind of a release or weaker or stronger. And this news, if we change, if, if we read here, uh, the statement is saying, uh, change in the price of goods and services purchased by consumer. So actual greater than forecasted is good for the currency. Uh, if it is lower, it is not good for the currency and it is released monthly, about three days after the month. And these are the first news we are getting on the CPI. But then the whole of this week we'll be having CPI news. So we are starting with CHF and then on Wednesday, is it Wednesday? I don't know if it's Wednesday or Friday. Oh, NFP comes first before the CP on the USD. So this week we're having a lot of news day. A lot, a lot of news. So if tomorrow at 9.30 the news becomes stronger, it will be like... Now, let's go back to our analysis. According to the daily, we just want to see, can we predict what the market will do? Can we predict if the market will be stronger or it will be weaker? So here... I have, this is daily, I have a double top. And you know, double top on a downtrend, is it weaker or, is it hard to trade double top on a downtrend or, or hard or easy? You remember me teaching you types of double bottom. We have a double bottom that is on an uptrend. So the market comes and create a double bottom. This is a double bottom on an uptrend. So double bottom on an uptrend, uh, on a downtrend. So this is a downtrend. Double top, double top. Eh, what am I saying? Double top on a on a downtrend is very easy to trade. Why? Downtrend support sells. Double top support sells. So you will find this double top. Eventually, it will go down. But the one that is difficult to trade is a double top on an uptrend. When you have an uptrend like this and you're attempting to trade a double top, it's not easy to trade it because double top supports buyers. And now a uh, double top support sellers and an uptrend supports buyers. It's like you're contradicting yourself. Now we have an added advantage here, guys, where the double top in the question is on the downtrend. The double top itself supports sellers. Downtrend supports sellers. So it's like that is added advantage, double top on a downtrend. If we go to the weekly and we want to check, we, is it OPT? The second advantage is the double top is OPT. So we have double top on, an, on a downtrend that is supporting sellers. This double top is still OPT. Again, if Audi CHF sells, if Audi CHF, if how the CHF, if the CHF news tomorrow becomes stronger, we will see the market selling. And if it sells, if the news tomorrow CPI will be stronger and the market of automatically it will sell, we already know where it will be selling to. This is a double top. We already know where it is going. It will be selling up to here. So don't be surprised tomorrow by 12 candle after the news release, or by the daily candle close, don't be surprised the candle will have gone with 169. We have seen these massive candles. Can you see that sell of 213 pips? This market, when there is news, they really sell. They don't, they don't know how to, if the CHF will be stronger, we'll see a massive drop tomorrow. And the pattern that is helping us to know that this market can either drop is this double top. 
you can see from the beginning, we had the first red candle. It was not a bearish anger because in this case, we used WBB where we wait for the red candle to happen. If it's not an anger, we put a box. So we can put that box and you can see immediately we put that box. This was our entry game. And after we got this entry, oh my goodness, the market has really messed on us, like being on the same place consolidated so, so much. You can see the market has really consolidated so, so much. So the market is on a sell up to now, but something can happen. So you can enter this sell with only one condition because you, if you entered sell, you made that six pips, but right now you are drawn down 26 pips. So you can you can enter this trade sell because of this double top and your take profit will be where? 170 pips. That is one thing. If you enter this market because of that, of the WBB, where is your exit? So number one, I told you don't enter a trade without. So we first get our entry. Number two, we, we get our target. And number three, we get our exit. So for entry, WBB is confirmed. For our target, we are targeting half more than 150 pips. So where is our exit? If you enter right now, our exit, the market should not, if the candle, let's say this tomorrow, it's news and the CHF is weak, it will go up. If it breaks that, you cancel that trade because that's the exit game. That is the exit of that market. And it will be like, how many pips? Let's see how many pips. The exit is like 58 pips. So if you are willing to risk 50 something pips, 60 something pips, you can enter sell. That is our exit. So if you enter Audi CHF right now and you want to sell, uh, to, to sell, you sell knowing that if I wake up every single day and I find the market has broken this, uh, this double top has violated, it is gonna buy because Yes, you might see a double top, but the same time, the market can have a cup and handle. And that's where, what majority will not see. Majority will see what they, it is visible. This is a cup and handle. This is a cup and handle, guys. So you can have a cup and handle like that. And a cup and handle, once it breaks there and you fail to come out, you're in trouble because it can go that distance. So if Audi CHF is that weak, guys, we have a chance of trading cap and handle. And in this case, it is, uh, it's better to get the exit and come out. So I'll be really waiting to see what will happen to this market. Will we get a cap and handle? And you see tomorrow's news, they are telling us what to do. Will we get a cap and handle and the market go up? Or will we get a double top goes to the neckline? And once half is broken, guess what? It will go this distance. So we are at the place where it's like the news are coming to tell us in exactly what we need to know. The news will be coming. If you want to trade before the news, it's like you'll be doing guesswork, but you have told you how to exit. If this news comes and they makes CHF stronger. What we need to see is the market going down, breaking our half and continuing with our half and continuing to sell. Okay, guys. So that being said, that is the Audi CHF prayer to the news. That's how you trade the news, guys. In fact, the title of this video should be how do you trade the news? Because if you are planning to trade the news, there's no way you can come here and just guess the market will buy or sell. This pattern has, and there's the reason why they are there, they are like, they're not moving. They are just waiting for people to make decisions. If they see many retail traders are buying, they will sell the market. That's how market makers do. They will never go to the same direction as you. So that being said, I want to close the video here to end the video here. If you're trading on the CHF, 
All the best, and I will do an updated video after the news tomorrow. Tomorrow, we have to do the updated version of this video. All the best, guys. See you in the next.